Working in groups can be challenging. However, there are a few ways to maximize your output as a group member. Group projects or group works are commonly assigned in college and high school, even in your professional life. Business projects, school work, and presentations are done in teams, not individually. You will be asked at some point to start a group project. The thought of having to work with people you don't know may not sit well with everyone. However, one should focus on the benefits and what they could get out of the situation rather than the downsides. In this video you will find important and helpful tips when working in groups. The first thing you should think about is disagreement. It is important that you are aware that this could happen. You will also find recommendations on how to deal with disagreement. Let's talk about the ground rules. It is important to set ground rules as group members will collectively establish acceptable and unacceptable behavior during the group process. Other thing you should do in order to maximize productivity is to set an agenda. It is important to set an agenda before each group meeting in order to keep the group on track. You will also need to assign roles. Your group and you should come together and evenly distribute the work to be done amongst the crew members to ensure that every group member contributes equally and to avoid laziness. Generalized laziness occurs when an individual puts in less effort when working in a group compared to when they are working alone on a project gaining credit for academic work that they did not complete. Gaining credit for academic work that you did not complete can result in an academic integrity breach. Lastly, set timelines. It is important to set timelines so that all team members pace themselves accordingly and get their work done on time.